Welcome to another book review by Joe Spinach. Today we are not reviewing a single book, but we are reviewing an author, Ben Shapiro, a quite a controversial author. I'm not going to go into the details of the author because I'm assuming the majority of people that will see this video will already know who Ben Shapiro is. Now, either if you like Ben Shapiro or if you don't like Ben Shapiro, this is going to be a review of his books as individual books, and then I'm going to give my own opinion on Ben Shapiro and his books, mainly his books, and uh, how to read him. Now, in regards specifically to the books, I just want to mention that I really hate small format videos when it comes for someone to understand an idea because an author really needs time to elaborate on his argumentations and on his points. That's why I really like reading big books uh, of political individuals because they have the time to explain what they truly mean. This implies for both, both sides of the spectrum. Now, in regards to that, uh, the titles of the book are Brainwashed, The Right Side of History, Three Easy Steps to Destroy America, and The Authoritarian Moment. Now, as far as I know, there is one more book that I haven't read from Ben Shapiro, so didn't include it here. The author is Ben Shapiro. The genre is political opinion, so it's an opinion piece, and they generally cover ideas about American universities and professors and their radicalization, the deterioration of morals in the Western world, the aggressive and the authoritarian methods of the liberal left, the attack on religion and anti-Semitism, uh, cancel culture, neoconservative ideas, and partially few conservative ideas. Now, uh, before I move on to judge his books, uh, as you, as individuals, you have to know where I'm coming from. I'm a European uh, from Cyprus. I am a conservative, a neoconservative, uh, but of kind of a different school of thought of Shapiro. I will argue I'm a Churchillian in, uh, in a sense, quite very so. Uh, so, in regards to the structure and the narrative of the book, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. The narrative is quite good. So it's really easy to read through. It's made for uh, the general public. So anyone can open the book and truly understand what he means in the book. Uh, but the structure, he kind of jumps around now and then. So I wouldn't say it's the best structure I've seen in books, but it's not bad. Uh, so general outcome, it's really easy to read and they're really small books which on one side is really beneficial because it's accessible for anyone. On the other side, and here comes the issue, the depth. Now, I'm giving it only five, of, 5 out of 10. Now, this is not a judgment of what he says in the book. Again, this is a criticism of the books as books. Now, he doesn't go into depth. That's why I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. He barely touched the surface of a lot of subjects, which are very important, which in many cases I personally agree with him. And in some other cases, I don't agree that much and I would like him to elaborate more, more on some point. So I'm standing there as the audience and I'm expecting to, okay, okay, Ben Shapiro, I don't agree with your opinion here. Give me your details. And the books are not really great in that sense. And that's unfortunately quite disappointing. In some cases, in some of his video formats, he goes into much bigger detail in some of his opinions. And in that sense, you can get and understand what he means, but in his books, he doesn't go too much into depth. Of course, for someone that's not so aware of general political opinions, he might find the depth of the, his books just enough. So that's good. But for an individual that generally read books, and it's well versed in political matters and ideologies, I will argue these books are quite shallow. I'm not saying that in a bad sense, I'm just saying it in a realistic sense. On that note, the accuracy and the quality of the work is quite high. So in contrast to other authors, like for example Kissinger, Ben Shapiro does not manipulate history. Personally, as a person that reads quite a lot of history, extensive amounts of history, uh, I do not see any manipulation of history in his works. So what he says is factual, and I even double check it sometimes, but he's on point, so he's not, he's not masquerading his arguments in uh, any practical sense. Uh, so I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, so 
the accuracy of your work is on point. So even if you disagree with him, you should take into account what he's saying because what he's saying is uh, out there and it's true. Now the narration of the books, except the book Brainwatch, now this for the audible version, that he's not narrating the book himself in all of the other narrations, it's a quite a good narration. Ben Shapiro knows how to read a book and it captivates you as, uh, as the audience quite a lot. So if for some reason Ben Shapiro ever sees this, uh, please do read your own books. It's much better than making someone else read them. Uh, and it's much, much more enjoyable for the audience because you put more emphasis where it's required when you read your own books. And it's quite obvious within uh, your work. Generally, that goes to a 7.4. Now, when it comes to my opinion towards Ben Shapiro and how to read Ben Shapiro. Firstly, for you to understand, I'm a European conservative, a neoconservative, a Churchillian, in a sense, pro-EU, federalist, some will get upset by this, uh, but yes, uh, our my general political opinions are not so vastly different from Ben Shapiro in many aspects. Uh, I generally agree with his opinions in regards to the majority of neoconservative subjects. I disagree with him with some theocratic uh, arguments as well as some arguments in regards to geopolitics. Uh, ben Shapiro is a very well-read individual, so even if you disagree with him, even if you are liberal, especially if you are liberal, I will argue you can read his books just to understand what he means. So he's not a fascist and he's definitely not right-wing. Uh, in the sense of far right wing, not at all. He is the traditional conservative opinion that the majority of, I guess, Americans and Westerners believes. So if you want to know the opinion of the other side, these books are really easy books for you to read. I wouldn't say they are the best books to read. They are much better works when it comes to actually understanding uh, the conservative ideal. So Churchill, for example, Douglas Murray has an ama amazing books, the conservative tradition, which I'm forgetting the author at the moment, and many more authors that are much better in illustrating the opinions of the conservatism movement. So, and furthermore, in what Ben Shapiro does in his books, and I do not like it as much, he avoids going into depth in many of the subjects that me as, a, as an audience, I am expecting him to go into depth. So this is quite unfortunate. I understand that he writes these books to cultivate a general audience and that's all good for him. He has the right to do that, that's great. But for individuals such as myself, which I believe there are quite many individuals that uh, care about the political views and personally I have read a lot of left-wing uh, ideology as well. I would like from Ben Shapiro a more uh, cohesive, much bigger book where he can illustrate his arguments and opinions in a much, much bigger depth and not just striking uh, good points like he said this, which is obviously retarded, can't you see audience? Yes. He's really good at using factual evidence to make the other side look bad, which in many cases might it might be, but it, in many cases he doesn't actually cover the issues and goes much into the deb debate, and that's quite disappointing. Uh, nonetheless, uh, they are quite good books if you want to understand the general opinion. Uh, the best from this is the right side of history, in my opinion, or the authoritarian moment. But the right side of history, uh, if I remember, it was in this book that he said, uh, and that's, I think, one of my favorite uh, cliches and phrases in books, actually. I, I, I use it myself quite often, that the Western civilization is a golden bridge between ancient Athens and Jerusalem. And this quotation by itself, I don't know if it's his own, uh, it's quite brilliant. So good job, Ben Shampiro, from the conservative moment. Now, how to read Shapiro. Now, if you're an individual that cares about politics in general and you are strong opinionated and you have your own opinions and you're either part of the right or the left, you shouldn't just, if you're of the right, do not just read Ben Shapiro. I completely disagree with this approach. Just 
and just don't read all of him at once. Read some pieces of Ben Shapiro. Read quite a lot of independent history, history by yourself. I'm a proponent that to understand politics, especially current events, you have to understand history or have a good understanding of gen general history of at least the 20th century, at least the 20th century. So read by yourself. Read other conservatives, for example, uh, Douglas Murray and uh, also the um, brother of uh, Hitchens and uh, Peter Hitchens, uh, if I remember right. Yes, and many more other conservatives that do a better job in touching the sub subject, as well as read psychological books or evolutionary psychological books on any of the subjects that Ben Shapiro touches, for example, on transgenderism and so forth. There are uh, great books from Jonathan Hyde, for example. Ben Shapiro is a good author to read in general, and many others. I have my bibliography on YouTube you can check on the political section. Uh, and in general, uh, I will recommend his books for the wider audience, uh, presuming that this is not the only books you read. Thanks you for watching, please like and subscribe and see you next time.